And the introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Norin Hong Hee Run. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting our the red corner, 26 years of age, his stance, when it adds 79 in this hall, and when it adds 54 pounds, he owe a record of 157 wins and 53 losses. He is a former Luminous Stadium champion and former two division Thailand champion and former WBC Muay Thai World Champion representing the Konrad Seymour Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Yod Wicha! Yod Wicha! And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 22 years of age. His stance with an 85 centimeters tall and right in with an 53.8 pounds. He will record of 61 wins, 21 losses, and two draw. He is Ifma World Championship gold medalist and former Omni Stadium champion and current the BBC Muay Thai Super Welterweight World Champion representing Roy Ed Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Tanan Chai. Set so be Well, for the very first, oh, sorry, for the very last time in the 2023 RDS tournament, I get to say, here we go. Who will become three million baht richer? Let's find out. Oh, right kick there from Tanachai. Tented left hook by Yod Musa. Five oh, of Muay Thai action. Ooh. Oh, tented right high kick there from Tananchai. Nice left kick to the middle though by Yod Musa. Tananchai, the younger of the two. He will be in better shape though. Is Yod Musa going to slow down towards the hands? Yod Musa looking for that right hand and almost connecting. No, Yobisha has the power to knock people down. Ooh! Oh, again, connecting with that right counter. And Tanachai unable to find the head. Ooh, ooh, good trade from both fighters. Yeah, like this in the opening minute. None of them giving up any ground. Perhaps motivated by what they witnessed from Ritiwada. Absolutely. World away final. Nice low kick there from Tanachai. Tension. Oh, yeah. The comedy <laughs> yeah, no. Absolutely. Can't yeah. imagine what it's like in there. Hold your nerve. Left hook there from Tanachai. Every kick counts. Every punch means something. Yeah. Yeah, shot. Pushing forward. Good left kick. Good answer from both fighters, but good ending with knees. Well, Tanachai would be the happiest of the two to be within the clinch with, with that slight height advantage and reach advantage of his. But Yaku well. But earlier on in his career was actually a clinch fighter. He was known for his devastating knees before he switched into a, a puncher. Yeah, and I Via the help of Ken, sit some people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but a big question, question to be answered from Yabisha is, can he last the five rounds? Manajai looking for that left elbow. So he really gets it together. <laughs> he does, and the crowd going crazy after those two knees. Yogi Chai just folded. Right knee there by Yogi Chai. We already know this is going to be a fun fight. Both having very similar styles. It's already a fun fight. It's already a very close fight with 30 seconds left on the clock here. Yogi Chai. Searching for that right kick and finds it as Yobachar tries to move out of the way. He's worked harder in the gym. Who wants it more? Who has a better game plan? Everything counts. Ooh. Oh, left there. Oh, sorry, right over there from Tanachai. Right smirk on the face of the younger warrior there. Yeah, Tanachai confident as he sees Yobachar pushing forward. And missing one of the shots. Almost oh, that right high kick. Tanachai looking fast here, he's in the ground, he's in the ground. What a round! 
as expected. Very, very close indeed. Could be anyone's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go back and forth. Round. This defense is so good on Willie. Yeah, and again, you've mentioned it. Cam sits something on Cam, was one of the trainers of Derbyshire, but now he is training Tananchai. So that's right, and, in, and on social media, they were actually showing Tananchai clinching as well. Yeah, absolutely. Via Ken's help. So, well, so far, interesting dynamic. Tananchai in phenomenal shape, but don't count Derbyshire out just yet. This is only the second round. Here we go. Yabisha pushing forward, and we have seen this before. We have seen Yabisha having trouble when he walks forward. Oh, good right I think from Tanachai. He's looking very confident now. He also saw as well, after he beat Daniel, we were backstage and he walked in. He was very emotional. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it looked like that he'd achieved his goal already. One big remaining fight still to come. Yeah, that's for sure. And Tanachai's goal is the gold. Absolutely. That three million baht. And he says, what do you do with that three million baht? We'll buy some land and build a house for his family. And his family would like to move back back to the farm. He's not much of a city boy. Good luck so far. Yabisha pushing forward. As expected. Tananchai. Oh, Tananchai. Ooh, Great good luck here. Finally, they're looking for that right kick. Missed the left hook. Both fighters looking a little bit happy on in the second round, which is bad news for Yabichar, of course. He's down on the tricky scorecards. Yeah, and to be honest, Tananchai looking in, in a great shape tonight. Slick, fast, powerful. Yabisha still looking to find his rhythm, find the answer, find openings. Oh, oh that hook! Yabisha says, I got one of my own. The left kick he misses. An answer. Oh, good trade there. Yabisha gets the best out of it. Yeah. And the left kick again. Oh, this is good from Yabisha. Good midsection kicks connecting. Tanachai cannot fall into the trap of Gardisha. Oh, the left kick again, right. Good right hand from Tanachai, though. Pushing forward now. Chess game from both fighters. Oh. Remember Gardisha, last year's finals, lost by split decision. Finds himself in the final once again. Two years he's been in this final. That would be terrible for Yabisha ah, to lose this round. To be a two-time runner-up. Not fun at all. Absolutely. And already. Oh, good left hook there from Tanachai. Yabisha seems to have found his range with the kicks. Yeah, the oh, good elbow there from eye. Tanachai as well. Yes, good spot there, Antoine. There is a marking under the left eye of Yabisha. Tanachai looking very strong tonight. But again, Yabisha landing quite a lot in this second round, very tough to judge. Of course, open, open scoring. Ooh, oh, good oh, answer right from Tanachai. And you can see both fighters very careful in every exchanges. This, this round's going back and forth. Absolutely. Oh, 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 oh. by Tanachai. It's a matter of speed, timing. This is a chess game, a mind game. Who's going to get the best out of it? And off, round number two, both fighters think they're good enough. We've seen that before here at RWS. The question is though, who actually did take that round? This will be a massive news if Fighter Talachai wins this round. Yeah, absolutely. And that would be a lot of trouble for Yabisha. Absolutely. The will of Yabisha this round. Does he want it done enough? Here we go, round number two. Nothing to lose anymore for Yabisha. He does not get the win. In this round, it's going to be harder than ever. Here we go. Third round. Yabisha pushing forward. And rightly so. When you're down in the scorecards, you cannot sit back. Right kick there from Tananchai. Oh. Good hands there from the young Tananchai. Oh, a flawless fight so far. Yabisha now on the attack. Oh, good elbow there from Yabisha. Oh, and a clinch work, and Tananchai is so strong tonight. Yabisha still pushing forward. There is no giving up from this man. I really do think that Tananchai is in the best shape we've ever seen. And again, I said that about Hercules, but Tananchai looks so strong. Looks yeah, like absolutely. He's still growing into his physique. Still very young, as you've mentioned before. 
Jobbichar pushing forward. Ooh, the right kick. <laughs> Could be there from Jobbichar. Yeah, in the clinch. See the strength of Tananchai in the clinch as well. And all that work Ooh. by Ken. Strengthening the, the core muscles and the abdominals of Tananchai. Within that clinch, good right elbow there once again by Tananchai. Raises his eyebrow against Jobbichar. He's proven a lot of people wrong so far in this fight. Yeah, Bishar right now. Tanachai is still con controlling the whole fight, controlling the pace. Yeah, Bishar, a little bit of a zombie mode, and I've said that before, we've seen this happen. Sometimes the yeah. Bishar is behind and he is pushing forward. He kind of loses control of his own mind. Yeah, I feel like Tanachai is, I want to say he's cruising to victory right now, but it's, it's much easier than I thought he would be. Testament to the skills of Tanenchai. <laughs> even in the clinch, I don't think he's able to outwork Tanenchai. Yeah, perhaps the hands are going to be what Yabishai needs right now. And I'm still wondering why he hasn't switched in his game plan yet. We said that the clinch for tonight, Tanenchai seems to be the stronger one. Ooh. Fight is looking for knees. Neither really connecting though with 40 seconds left on the clock in round number three. Good oh, right hand oh, there oh, from oh. Tanachai. Swing and a miss. Left hand, right hand from Tanachai. This and is far again. too easy. The referee telling him to move forward. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah, you Asking got... him to fight and perhaps that will change the outcome of this round. Of course, if the referee thinks that you're walking back too much, he can't take away points. Right kick there from Tanachai. Takes it high once again. Oh, left foot there from Gokichar. Yeah, and him raising his hands all the time. I'm not sure how the judges are going to score mm. this one. It, was, it looked like a round for Tanachai, but after that, I don't know. This is going to be very interesting if Gokichar wins this round. You're right, Antoine, because still the fact the that the, the judges were... Sorry, the referee was telling Tanachai to start moving forward, and Gokichar, about what we witnessed from from job in the lightweight championship out here against 24 Alpha. It's all about control now for Tan and Chai. Here we go, round number four. Three million baht up for grabs. Hundred and eighteen pounds. We saw Song Ratsumi at one hundred and thirty-five pounds. We saw Lam Nam Munle at one hundred and forty pounds. We saw Capitan at one hundred and forty-seven pounds. We saw Riti Wadar. Right now, one hundred and fifty-four pounds super welterweight will be going to Tananchai Sit Song Pinong unless Gokbicha can do something to change all that. Good elbow there from Gokbicha. He really is going after Talanchai now. Left with no choice but to attack. Talanchai using nice shots. Good right hand there from Gokisha. That was a beautiful right hand that rocked Talanchai's head. Here comes Gokisha once again. Talanchai doing exactly what he needs to do. Grab a hold of him. Run down that clock. Regain his composure. Gokisha again. Head over with that right hand. But also delivering good left hooks to the body. Swing in left and right hand once again, but Tanajai able to get his hands up high. And able to block, or at least deflect, the strikes that are coming in. Yobuchar looking for that right shot to the body. Tanajai gripping the hold of him, tightening that clinch around his neck. Big moments here for both. Oh, what a right hand there! Yobuchar found that right hand! Tana Chai has to be very careful. Once again, that right hand of Gabuchar is blind and clocked and ready to strike at any moment. Good right knee there from Tana Chai. This is a great round so far for Gabuchar. Two beautiful head strikes that have rocked Tana Chai, who again is on the back foot. Oh, good right hand once again. Three in a row for Gabuchar. 
He's also running the risk of potentially having a point deducted if he continues to move backwards. Right hand once again from Robichar. That caught right hand. He's biting down on that gum shield. He's giving it every feed he has in this fourth round. Here comes Robichar once again. Again with that right hand. It seems like Tanachar is able to eat those shots though. He seems okay. But there was one specific right hand that knocked his head very far back. Here comes Yogachar once again with just over 30 seconds left on the clock in this fourth round. It looks like the Tanachai is going to survive. Left up there from Yogachar. And surely Yogachar takes this round though. Tanachai running down the clock and delivering some good beast in the mid section of a, I'm sure, a tired Tanachai right now. Five seconds left. Spinning back fist there from Yobichar. I think we call that a Hail Mary. Head of the fourth round. Yobichar looking dejected. Tanachai raises his hand. But I'll be interested to see. Surely the judges have scored that one in favour of Yobichar. Which at least gives him a chance in the fifth and final round because if he could knock He'll down take home three million baht. Massive round here for both fighters. I keep saying that. I'm a broken record, but it is what it is. It's the fifth and final round of the final final of 2023. And what a tournament it has been. Here we go. Tempted elbow there from Tanachai. Good left knee there. That's not a bad strategy from Tanachai. Yobachai's moving into. Oh! Right yeah, hand kick from Tanachai, and Yobachai is down. How's the referee not scoring a count there? I don't understand that. He was clearly knocked down. Here comes Yobachai once again. That was a beautiful right high kick there from Tanachai that clearly knocked down Yobachai. He wasn't off balance, he was knocked down. The referee should have counted that one. But as it is, really academic because Yobachar is back to his feet anyway and he's still fighting on. Well, that's a good way to slow down your opponent. Yobachar looks like he's going to be a two. Oh, sneaky left hand there from Talajai. Left up there, right hand. A beautiful hand here for Talajai from Yobachar. Strong right kick, right shot to the body there. Yobachai looks like he's run out of ideas to be honest. It's a right hand but Talachai is staying strong and staying on his feet. Yobachai though, as you might expect, is rabid. He's continuing to move forward, he's looking for that one big right hand. I really don't think he's going to find it. He's got 90 seconds left on the clock to try and find it anyway. Tanachai, since fighting on the back foot, has been eating a lot of shots, you know. Sometimes, of course, moving on the back foot and defending is the right decision. It's like, oh, good right hand from Yamachai. Look, from Yamachai once again. The crowd really getting behind Yamachai, of course, who is the underdog going into his fifth round. One minute left on the clock. Right shot to the body there from Yobuchar. Oh, but going up high. Looking the guard and Tanachai once again. Tanachai. Big trouble here. For the first time in the fight, Yobuchar looks up at the clock. Another right hand there from Tanachai. He's able to move backwards. Just over 30 seconds left on the clock here. But this year's Adi left tournament left up there. But Tanachai delivers a beautifully timed knee that slows down Yogachar. 20 seconds left on the clock. Tanachai standing strong. Has got his hands down a little bit though, and he hits an elbow. We've got five seconds left. It looks like the three million baht is going to Tanachai and sits on Gino. There it is. What an amazing fight though, it was. Yowichar shakes his head once again in the final. 
Kanachai Sit Songkinong defeated Pet Morricot in the semi-final and has now defeated Gogwicha in the final. An absolute war in the 2023 Super Welterweight final here under the bright lights of Rajamur Stadium. But we will have a winner and it will be that man right there who takes all the gold. And they can see fighters from Sid Sonkin on cheering on their fighter. He's done it. Let's have a look at the highlights from that fight. Solid D there from Yogicha. Got to see that head kick again though. I wish I did exactly what I needed to do and try and take it to Tyler Chai. I think that was in the second round. And third round, excuse me, because beautiful time, right hands. But there's the right high kick. I mean, come on, that is a knockdown for sure. Yabba Chai did everything in his power to try and find something, but Tyler Chai just too strong for Yabba Chai. And he's going to get his hand raised here. This year's tournament. What an amazing tournament it's been. Tanan Chai, who would have thought it? We had Daniel, we had Pet Morakot, we had Yobucha. But it's Tanan Chai, Sit Songkinong, who is this year's tournament champion. Congratulations to him and his camp. Amazing. We'll get the official confirmation of the decision by Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the manager of the National Sports Development Fund, Dr. Suprani Kuptasa. And of course, with us right here on stage, the president of RBS and board, of the board director of President of the Stadium, Mr. Bank Tian Chai, Pisit Putina. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges scorecard. The first goal scored is about 49 to 46. The second judge scored 48 to 47. And the last judge scored 48 to 47. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. A new on the rest 2023 Super Welter World World Champion! Chai! Sit! So! Pino!